Until now, this story has been Top Secret. Top Secret, the new NBC presentation starring gorgeous Ilona Massey as the Baroness Karen Geza. In transcribed dramas of international intrigue and espionage before and during World War II. Assignment 3, The Package in Tangiers. A story until now, Top Secret. Yes, Monsieur Brun. Murder is like love. The essence is quietness and privacy. Huh? She'll be quiet, all right. She'll be out for days. Take her downstairs to our little room. Oh, it's too bad you had to hit her. It's too bad we have to kill her. Well, that's a bit risky, isn't it? Tangiers is a neutral zone. Uh, we will take her to the cliffs tonight. A shot, a push, voila. And what will be left? Nothing to say when to wash away. Now... Take her downstairs to our little room. Yes, Captain. Tiny, isn't she? Hurry uh, back, will you, Monsieur Brown? We have a lot to do. Consciousness came back. I had gambled and I had lost. I had made a mistake. As I lay on the filthy bed in the airless cell, I could hear the voice of the farmer, my chief, the man who hired me to spy against the Nazis in Hitler's Berlin. In espionage, Baroness, your first mistake will be your last. There will be no protection in danger, no recognition even in death. No recognition, even in death. There would be nothing to identify me as the little manicurist who became the personal maid, almost the confidential companion of Emmy Göring, the statuesque consort of the number two Nazi himself. Oh. Why is it, Karen, that in a house with 30 bedrooms there isn't one good mirror? Oh, the hat is very becoming, Frau Göring. <laughs> well, it will have to do. I'll be back in a couple of hours. I'll wear the white satin and the emeralds tonight. Yes, Frau Göring. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye. It's Karen. Karen, I... It's all right. It's, I, I'm on the phone in her bedroom. Have you any instructions? The tear garden. In an hour. Fifteen minutes. Right. That's how it is, Karen. You've got to leave for Tangiers tonight. 
Is it that important? There's a leak in our intelligence down there. Four times in the past month, the Germans have gotten hold of vital information known only to a handful of men in the Allied High Command. Frau Göring will never let me go. If she won't, you'll have to go anyway. But my job in the Göring House is the best contact we have. Karen, you're going to Tangiers. It may only be for a few days. Your contact there is a little boy. Go to the bazaar of the Singing Fountain. There is a blind beggar who walks the bazaar with a little boy leading him. But there must be many blind beggars in Tangiers. In the bazaar of the Singing Fountain, there is only one. One beggar in a bazaar? One little boy, age 12, with gray hair. I am sorry, Karen, it is impossible. You've been with me less than a month, and now you want a week's vacation. No, it is impossible. Oh, I wish you would change your mind, Frau Göring. Put the front curls higher. Yeah. No, higher still. Oh. No, no, no. Give me the comb. Yes, Frau Göring. Thank you. Where did you want to go? Tangiers. Tangiers? Yes. Why? Tangiers. Will you step outside a moment, Karen? I wish to telephone privately. Certainly, Frau Göring. I'll call you when I'm through. Yes, Frau Göring. Franz, the most amazing luck. My maid wants to go to Tangiers. Yes, I'm sure of it. No, I don't think she'd ever suspect. Look, will you arrange for payment? 25,000 American dollars. Yes. She doesn't have to know anything. I know it's risky, but there's no other way. And she's a sensible girl. Right. Yes, goodbye. Karen? I'm through. Frau Göring, I was thinking that with the white satin... Karen, would be... I've changed my mind. You may have your vacation. Oh, thank you, Frau Göring. Uh, would you do a little errand for me in Tangiers? Of course I will, anything. When are you leaving? Well, um, uh, I thought that... Tonight? Uh, yes, if you wish. Very well. Take this note to Saxel at the airdrome. I see. One of the Reichsmarschall's private planes will be at your disposal. The pilot's name is Captain Klein. Yes. In Tangiers, go to this address and ask for Suleiman Abdel Kadir. He will give you a package. You bring back the package to me. Yes. Uh, would it be too curious to ask what the package contains? Much too curious. Yes, Frau Göring. Now, this card will serve as your identification at the house of El Kadir. Mm -hmm. The signature is that of the man we both serve. Hermann. <laughs> I don't like it, Karen. Farmer, I have to go. Captain Kleinst is waiting. The plane is ready to take off. But what is it? What is Emmy Goering after? I don't know. She's talked about a sable coat. Tangiers for a sable coat? I must go. It's dangerous for us to be seen together. Your job is more important than a package for Emmy Goering. What better way to find the leak in Allied intelligence than to pose as a German agent? I have a card signed by Herman himself. The flight to Tangiers was uneventful, except for a moment of heartache when my Nazi pilot reviewed outside Paris, occupied Paris. When I arrived in Tangiers, I took a room at the Fadella Hotel. Then I made my way to the bazaar of the Singing Fountain to look for a blind beggar led by a little boy with gray hair. father who is blind. My child, your cause is good, but your manners are bad. I ask only arms, madame, not instruction. 
One takes off his hat to a lady, even when one begs for his father, who is blind. As you wish, madame. There. <gasps> I am from the farmer. Bring your father to the Fedella Hotel, room 23. It's on the first floor. What are you doing in my hotel room? Well, I'm, it is the business of German intelligence to watch people who arrive in Tangier in one of Goering's private planes. And to break into their hotel rooms? You have nothing to fear, Fräulein, if you can identify yourself. What is that? What is what? There's someone at the window. You seem very nervous. Open it. Certainly. Your fears are groundless. Herr, uh, what is your name? Never mind names. Show me your identification. I am the maid, the personal companion of Frau Göring. Here is a card signed by the Reichsmarshal himself. Does that satisfy you? Yeah. My apologies, Fräulein. But you were seen talking to the little boy in the bazaar. For months I have suspected his father. Will you leave now? Someday I will get that old beggar. Blind. <laughs> bah, he is a fox. And he will be killed the way all enemies of Germany... Roger! Oh! Who is it? Is there somebody there? I... You! Yes, madame. From the window. Get inside, quickly. Uh, Put the window down. Hurry. What is the meaning of this? Have you gone out of your mind? I'm an expert at throwing knives, madame. It was part of my education. But why? Why? I hate Germans, madame. He threatened my father. I have killed before. You, you are not a child. You are a monster. I'll have to get out of this hotel. They'll find his body and... Oh, help me with him quickly. Under the bed. Please, please yes, hurry. Uh, shh, shh. What is it? Yes, madame, which towel? I have plenty, thank you. You idiot. You may have ruined everything. When there is doubt, madame, one always kills Germans. They blinded my father, killed my mother. They'll find him any minute, even under the bed. There. Now listen. Take my suitcase out the window. I'll leave by the front door. We will go to your father's house. No, madame. What? I will not take you to my father. Little boy, listen. Believe me, I am on your side. I work for the farmer. I have a plain white visiting card. With a grain of wheat? Glued in the center. No matter what you have heard about my working for Frau Göring, that is a cover. Do you understand? A cover. You do believe me, don't you? I... It is difficult, madame, these days to believe anybody. I hate Nazism and fascism as much as you do. Uh, uh, wait... I have some chocolate in my purse. I have no appetite for candy, madame. Little boy, come here. Closer. How old are you? Twelve, madame. Poor little boy. There. Thank you, madame. You're very kind. Out the window quickly with my suitcase. I will meet you at the corner in three minutes. We took a taxi. The strange, sad, gray-haired child of twelve. His face was expressionless. Tired, pinched. Through the narrow streets, we drove to the worst district of Tangiers, to his father's house. I was taken to a tiny room at the back and told to wait while the boy went to for his father. She's a cheat father, like all the others. She pretends to work for both sides, but works only for herself. Where is she, my boy? In the back room. You should not judge too quickly. It is difficult for an enemy to learn the passwords of the farmer. But she has a card signed by Göring. I saw it. I saw her talking to Herr von Feld. 
In the hotel room. I saw her. Give her my respects and apologies. I will sleep now and talk to her in the morning. But watch her. If she goes out, follow her. Yes, Father. Go now, my boy. Remember, it is a sin to judge too quickly. Madame? Yes? My father's respects. He's old and tires easily. He will see you in the morning. I hope you will be comfortable here. Our house is poor, but clean. Thank you, father. I have an errand to do now. A package that must be picked up. I shall return soon. A package, madame? Little boy, you will have to learn someday in your life how to tell when people are your friends. I am looking for Sulaiman Abdel Qadir. Salam alaikum. I am here. Come in. Were you expecting me? At my age, Fräulein, one expects anything. How may I serve you? Here is a card. It is signed by the Reich Marshal himself. I am to pick up a package. Ah, yes. It is ready. Ready and waiting. Here you are, Fräulein. But, uh, uh... Why are you startled? I... I was expecting a large package. I... Preconceived ideas are usually wrong, Fräulein. May I wish you good evening? Uh, there... Is there nothing to pay? Nothing. Good evening, Fräulein. I followed her. She went to Suleiman Abdel Qadir. Father, I saw her. You are sure, my son? I saw him answer the door. I saw her go in. She's a Nazi, Father. She will trick us. Please, Father, let me... Let me... No, my son. Report her to Mr. Brown. Tell him what you have told me. And please, since she is as beautiful as you say, do not have them arrest her in this house. In the morning, they can take her in the bazaar. With the rest of the trash in Tangier. Will you wait here, madame? Sit on the stone. It's quite clean. I will return in a moment. But when can I see your father? He will lunch with us at home, madame. But wait here. I shall not be long. Do not go away, madame. I will be back soon. Will you come with me, please? Uh, Are you speaking to me? Brown is the name. Allied intelligence. Will you come with me, please? I most certainly will not. I don't want to be brutal. I can't legally arrest you, but there are other ways. If you come with me, you'll have a chance. But if you don't, you won't get out of this bizarre alive. (laughs) That's not being dramatic. That's a fact. Tangiers is a strange place. Please come quietly. Where? Allied headquarters. We have an old house. It's not far. Can't we discuss this, Mr. Brown? There is no need Open your suitcase, please. How, How did it get here? The boy. Open it. If you don't open it, I'll have to break it open. There. Mm Mm-hmm. Now, what's this? Face powder. Mm Mm-hmm. You, uh, you always wear platform soles on your shoes? Not always. There is no need to wreck my shoes. If you tell me what you're looking for, I'd be very glad to help. I don't know quite what I'm looking for. Mr. Brown, you may not believe this, but I am not a Nazi spy. Oh, come off it, lady. You had a private plane from Berlin. One of Mr. Goering's special numbers. You were seen going into El Kadir's house. He's the leading Nazi in Tangiers. Don't give me this cover stuff, please. You've got to believe me. 
I'm trying to locate the source of... Of, of what? I can't tell you. That's right, you can't. Is this what you picked up at El Cadiz? If it's a matter of money, Mr. Brown, we might come to terms. Sorry, there isn't that much money in the world. Now, what's in this? I don't know. It was in your suitcase. I don't know, I tell you. All right, let's open it. Well, why do you have to get face cream from El Kadir? I had no idea what was in the package. A jar of face cream? Or is it... You have no right to... What is it? Innocent, aren't you? Is it? Yes. Buried in the cold cream. But uh, naturally, you wouldn't know. I swear I had no idea. I swear to it. I don't like women like you. Hello, Captain. Mm -hmm. Is this the young lady, huh? Yes, sir. What is the verdict, Monsieur Brun? I'd say guilty, Captain. I assure you, Captain, Be that quiet, it's... please. Oui, Monsieur Brun. She arrived at one of Goering's private planes. Mm -hmm. She entertained the Gestapo in her hotel room. Mm -hmm. She tried to bribe me. She's tried about everything. The beggar's kid had me pick her up, and I found that in a suitcase. Mm, I see. Let me go. Let me go. Well, don't be foolish. You can't possibly get away. Let go of me. I... <clears throat> you didn't have to hit her. Uh, Monsieur Brun, we have to kill her. Well, that's a bit risky, isn't it? Tangiers is a neutral zone. Uh, in Tangier, murder is like love. The essence is quietness and privacy. Take her downstairs to our little room. We will take her to the cliffs tonight. A shot. I push, voila, and nothing will be left. Nothing that the sea won't wash away. Take her downstairs, Captain. I deliberately kept my cover. It would have been simple to prove I worked for the farmer, but I had a feeling I would be released. I knew that whoever got me out of this would be the person responsible for the leak in our Tangier's intelligence. Hours passed. Then he came for me. Hello. What do you want? We're ready if you are. Years. There must be laws about murder. That is why we are so discreet, mademoiselle. Uh, this will do, Monsieur Brun. It is quiet, dark, and deserted. Uh, mademoiselle, I know you will not force us to drag you screaming from the car. Huh? Gentlemen, the time has come for me to tell you the truth. As a matter of the fact, The time I was... has come for you to get out, honey. Get out. <sighs> You don't? You want me to do it? No, 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 no. Uh, wet ear. Proceed, mademoiselle. Captain, I must tell you that... Keep quiet. They will hear us. What? Please, keep quiet. What? When one has to shoot, one shoots quickly. Oh. Good. Now listen. Near here, there is a path down the cliff. It is very steep. Watch yourself. Yes, Almost directly beneath us is a small pier. I will pick you up there in a motorboat in an hour. Then you, you are... Oui, oui. Now be on the pier in an hour. I will get there as soon as I can get rid of this full American. I wanted to sing, to shout. This was the leak. The head man of Allied espionage was a traitor. I groped my way down the rocky cliff and found the small pier, just as he had said. I sat there in the cold, shivering, but exultant, and waited. Yes. Now, jump! 
Good. Mademoiselle, I congratulate you. You were superb. Never have I seen anyone face dead with such dignity. Thank you, monsieur. I attended to everything. Captain Kleinst is waiting at the airport with your plane. Uh, there is your suitcase, and in it is your uh, cold cream. Or shall we say what was concealed in the cold cream? You are very efficient. Thank you, Fräulein. I have been useful to the Reich Marshal on several occasions. You uh, will not forget to mention my name, huh? I will never forget you, never. Uh, merci. They are so stupid, these Americans. And uh, the English words, right under their very noses. Climbing down the cliff, I loosen my heel. Uh, have you a hammer? Uh, under the seat there is a toolbox. Uh, lift up the top. Have you got it? Yes, monsieur. Thank you. Uh, it will be greasy, mademoiselle. No one will notice the grease. I wish to do as you say, but al Kadir is one of the most influential Germans in Tangier. Captain Kleinst, we will take off at once. Uh, al Kadir said no. There was a body found in the Pedala Hotel. It uh, seems that your room was... Captain, yeah. do you recognize the signature on this card? Or must the pilot of the Reich be told who is Herman? We take off at once. did splendidly, Karen. Splendidly. Thank you. But uh, I can't forget that little boy. It was horrible. Farmer, he wasn't a child. He was an old man. Our work will help build his future, Karen. Yes, I know. Incidentally, the package of uh, Frau Goering's, what was it? In a jar of cold cream, a small fortune in morphine. The jar got broken. I told Frau Goering I dropped it. She admitted it was a uh, medicine for Herman. She was very grateful. Apparently, Himmler has closed off the Reich Marshal supply. And the leak in Tangiers is plugged for good. Plugged for good. With a hammer. A German hammer. You have just heard Ilona Massey starring in the new NBC presentation, Top Secret. And here she is with a clue about next week. Next week is assignment four. Philip Cornelius. His courage. His bravery. His tenderness. His escape. It is a personal story of mine. And until now, it has most certainly been Top Secret. Top Secret is directed and produced by Harry W. Junkin. The script was by Alan Sloan. Heard with Miss Massey tonight were Bryna Rayburn, Louis Van Ruten, Tommy Frederick, Earl Hammond, Carl Emery, and Bernard Grant. The music was composed and conducted by Dr. Roy Shield. This is Fred Collins speaking. NBC, the national broadcasting company.